Gentlemen, 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 bring them in today. Bring them in this evening. Joey D coming in hot from a white wall. You got Mikey V coming hot from the cave. Where else would Mikey V be coming from? Fellas, how are we today? How are we doing? Uh, running around like a chicken with my head cut off, but I'm here. I've arrived. You know, I'm happy to be here. As and what always. does that mean? Elaborate on that a little bit, Joey D. It, it's with the traveling, it's hard sometimes to do these, the podcasts. And and I got stuck in rush hour traffic and, and whatnot. And then trying to get the fucking Wi-Fi going. It was it was a bit of a last minute scramble, but I'm happy to be here. Happy to see you boys. Happy to be running this thing. Mikey does B, it, you're making does faces. It, it, I don't know why he's making faces. Always, always something with this young man. He's always making faces. Whoa, whoa. I, whoa. <laughs> uh, I, Frank, I gotta be honest, you know, like it's always something. I had to I had you know the amount of DMs I had fucking from this guy and his video this week alone. Wow. You know? And then wow. I, I, I bust my ass to get back and I, I gotta see the little, little, little snickering in the faces, you know? Wow. It's like, a lot of a lot of pent up aggression here. Let it out, Joe. Wow. Let it out. Go ahead. No, no Joe, pent up aggression. Out. It's just you know, I'm never taken seriously on this show. You know, I bust my ass to get back. I wanna get a good show on the road, and then you know I got to see little faces and smirks and little you know nuances over there. This, the, the, I mean, the, this this show is built on smirks and faces. If you ask me, Joseph. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently so, Mike V. Apparently are you happy so. To be, are you happy to be here today, Joey D? I am. Yeah, I am. I was just, I was just reiterating something, and it's always it's always a joke. It's always you know it's always a, something that to laugh about. You know, it's never been, can never be taken seriously. You know. Well, I mean, the life. show is called the Brilliantly Dumb Show, Joseph. Fair point. I understand. Fair that. point. But it's like my whole life is always going to be a joke. It's, I can never be taken seriously. Well, ever. okay. Well, let me ask you. Let's get well. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a great opening though joe that is so great and i i disagree joe i think that you are taken seriously but you come into the show you're a whirlwind the hair's everywhere you look like you've just been running off of a train to get onto the pod and you're like i'm happy to be here a little difficult to get here yeah, you know, but I'm happy to be here. I'm I'm glad I'm here. I'm I glad literally I made got it. off a ferry from Alcatraz and had to get through fucking San Francisco, you know, traffic to get on the show. All did I was saying, the, uh, did you take the trolley or what is that? The uh, did you is take that the trolley? trolley? Did, did you take the trolley, Joey Day? Not this time, but I have. You didn't before. take. You should have taken the trolley. I don't I know if I'd be a trolley guy. guy. I think I'm he would be a guy. lot. I think if Joey D takes that trolley. It's a lot happier of a mood out of the gate. I think you got to get on that trolley. Now, would we have started the podcast a little bit late? Wow, there's that $60 basketball, though, Joe. That is also one of the sickest yeah. things. And look, I got a lot to say this podcast. Joey, look, when it comes to Postmates, okay, when it comes to Postmates, there's nobody worse than me. Delivery, I, I, the Starbucks morning, nobody worse than me. I will say, you know, I've done the ice cream cone Postmates delivery Hutsy ordering a basketball on delivery is one of the most <laughs> outrageous things I think that I have ever heard. And this is coming from a guy who has ordered a lot of crazy shit. I uh, I wanted a prop for my for my sports book ad for for DraftKings, Bob. It's a college playoff basketball right here. You know, by the way, no. I've rehearsed this 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 script like twenty five thousand times. <laughs> Tried to get this thing done. Why? Before. You don't have to read the script though. You could go off the cuff as long as you hit the points, Joe. Yeah, but it's harder because they have all the the things that you have. There's to a lot. Through. There's a lot of ground to cover, and it's a very minimal time window. But you know, thirty that's... seconds. By the way, I didn't realize how long winded Short. I am. Very Thirty well, but, seconds might as well be a millisecond. But but you could go. They don't mind if you go up. If you go following thirty seconds, they're not going to oh, have an issue. With I don't it. know. Yeah. It seemed very very uh, strict on the thirty. I got seconds, I got, so. got mine down to twenty nine seconds, Mikey, and then I got to put the disclaimer now, on. The but back. but Joe, yeah. where did you get? How did you get a basketball order? No, seriously, like I'm honestly, I don't know. Like how that's I not went a on to DoorDash. Thing. I went to DoorDash and in the search column I wrote basketball. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Pretty, pretty simple there. <laughs> that is pretty self explanatory, I think. Now here's the thing that really pissed me off. My do That's my dasher crazy. was completely clueless. I, I put in I mean, Joe, the guy was probably confused. He had to go to Dick's and get a basketball. <laughs> so she went, I gotta show you this. I can't <laughs> I can't make this up, Bob. I cannot make this up. So I put in a basketball from Dick's sporting goods, okay? 
And I get the I get the basketball. I put in the Wilson NCAA, the official basketball, you know, for the college playoffs. And I get this. It's a picture from her as a substitute for a Wilson football. Now, and what did you what did you say? What was your response? What did you say to the postmates driver, Joseph? No, no I need a basketball, basketball not, a not a football. It's, it's unbelievable, dude. I mean, can we throw in maybe a thank you or a you know, I should thank you when she arrived. What was the what was the one postmates girl, Joe, that video that you had uh Donna. What was her name? Shauna, Shauna, yeah. Shauna, 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 Shauna. This, is this is Joseph. Ticket or T-Bone, who's ever doing the pod, if we could get the cutsy Shauna clip. Dude, the game is done and our food is still not here. Hello? Hello, Shauna? Hello? Shauna, are you there? Shauna? Oh, here we go. Um, hello? Hi, this is my, this is Joseph. Is this Shauna? Yeah, I know. That's a Loaded great up. I mean, That's that great is clip. Ab absolutely terrific. There you um, go, Joe. Now you're settled in. Now you, you're ready to go. Do me a favor, Joe. Take the, take the trolley tomorrow. You know what? I'm going to really get myself comfortable here. I'm you know what really... I think? I think the... Oh, whoa, 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 oh, wow. Boy. Okay, this guy's okay. out for blood All today. Right. For the folks listening in your vehicles, uh, Joey Diaz just gone with the Andrew Tate sunglasses they're from not, the Raptors. They're, Andrew Tate. they're not Andrew Tate. <laughs> I'm just saying that that's the style of glass that he wears. And I, by the way, that she's wearing some pretty expensive sunglasses. Those I mean, look, look, those sunglasses look expensive. Definitely. Yeah, they do. I, now I they feel do. like I'm in my safe zone. Now I same thing like with my bunch. I like you're like the that. kid. You're like the kid from Big Daddy. He's got to put the sunglasses on <laughs> to pretend he's invisible. <laughs> great movie by Frankenstein. The way. Great oh, movie. It's a movie great. Bob actually oh, likes. Oh yes, yes, it's a great. Oh, movie. Oh, what a Obviously, shocker. Sandler. Sandler is his wheelhouse. <laughs> Big Daddy's tremendous. Um, that is good. I, I want to ask you something, Mikey V, before we get a lot that we want to get on there, but I want to ask you something. You, This was your first weekend really diving. Not, not that you haven't watched it before, but this was your first weekend, I think, really getting into it. You watched the Riviera on, by the way, is there an echo at all from my, or are you no, okay? No, good. no you echo. Watched, you watched the Riviera this weekend. You watched the golf tournament. Okay. Good John Rahm wins again. You got into it a little bit. Your thoughts yeah. on golf. And did you bet it, Mikey V? I did bet it. I took Ron. Well, I. I had a parlay that got busted. Um, I had Ohio State Purdue under first half 65 Jesus and a half. Christ, Listen to this. Man, Listen to this. Wait, 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 wait. Would you wait, just wait. take a break? Just, why? Why? I've been white hot. Sub picks have been white, white fucking hot, white bro. Hot. They've been white hot. Okay. They've been white hot. Well, okay, I got good anyway. news for you. Cutsy's got a, got an insider from March Madness. This I don't want to know. About <laughs> it, <but laughs> Cutsy may have it. Cutsy may be so I haven't bet at all, Bob. I made one bet in a month. Listen Go to ahead. this parlay. Sunday, I had a parlay going. Ohio State Purdue under first half, 65 and a half, and John Rahm to win the uh the Genesis, right? Okay. So one leg obviously hit. Rahm was the favorite. Okay. But you parlayed these two picks together. It was like plus 150. Ohio State Purdue goes over at 67, was the first half score. A last oh. second three from Purdue rims out, and that seven foot four gargantuan center that they have. Gets a put back dunk with time expiring oh, to lose the under in the first half. Absolute dagger to the heart of the only subs, but we will be back better than ever well, this week. First off, I, I I will say this. Oh no. The last time you had us bet the Pro Bowl, I was going to say the NBA All-Star game. Thank God you didn't have us bet that. But I feel like you've had us bet the NBA All-Star game before. And I might be crazy and I'd, I'd be the first to do it. Give me the NBA All-Star game unders all day long. But thank God you didn't make us do that, Mike. No, I no, do I remember didn't. the football, although that was <laughs> the greatest then, bet. The Pro Bowl bet you had was the, the best bet ever placed. It was the quickest yes. bet I've ever seen hit. Yeah, it, was coin flip. It, was it was unbelievable. And then to answer to answer the question, though, um, I have consumed more golf content in the last week since I made the Mikey Mulligan's announcement that I have in my entire life. I'm talking about soup to nuts. YouTube videos, golf club ordering, golf bag ordering, which the golf bag came in, tees being sent to me from from gracious people on Instagram. Uh, I started. <laughs> What's the that name full, of the tea company? 
MPTs. Shout MPTs. out to MPTs. <laughs> Shout yeah. out to MPTs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then also I started the Full Swing show on Netflix, which, by the way, is awesome. This show, Full Swing on Netflix, is Do awesome. Do me a favor, though, Muggy B. Yeah, Sorry to cut you off. Get a plug for Tempe Tees, though, because they did send you a nice little care pack. I mean, Tempe Tees, when you're talking about tempting yourself with the best tees in the game, who better than Tempe Tees? And, uh, and we're, we're grateful for Tempe. I love a good plug, man. He um, loves a good plug. But no, in all seriousness, I think thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed watching uh the genesis uh, genesis invitational yesterday the final round i thought that the back and forth between first of all homa i think had a share of the lead at one point i think they were both 16 under at one point and it was kind of close and then but this guy rom man this guy makes it look easy i mean it's disturbing this guy and what makes me uh, really, really like just take a seat back is like these guys get aggravated when they hit a shot that like I'm sure if the average person hit the shot that they had just hit, it would have been like one of the greatest shots they've ever hit in their life. And these guys will hit a shot like that and they'll be upset with themselves. That's Mikey, really, really wild. The wow. odds, the odds are the best. It's so much fucking fun yeah, it looks to watch. It really is. It's, yeah. it's, but yeah. just to, to watch these, I get so into it now. And it's just, yeah. you have all these different guys. You got a lot of likable guys. Home is such a likable guy. Um, Scotty Scheffler, I really like from what I've seen of him yeah. on, the, on the show. Uh, yeah. I, you know, uh, Spaith, obviously, I knew about it. Justin Thomas. I didn't know the dynamic of their relationship. So that's a new thing that I learned from the yeah. full swing show. But, you know, I'm just getting my feet wet. You know what I mean? When the, when the, when the duckling gets hatched out of the egg, it doesn't just, you know, it can't just, you know, it stumbles a little bit. It's not ready to just go down the river and start, you know, plucking worms out of the, out of the, uh, the river there. It needs a little you, time to get acclimated. I'll tell you this right now, you know, who got a, I've only, I'm only two episodes in. I'll tell you who got a bad draw on uh, just the way they portrayed him, like his career. They treated Brooks Kepka like he was Jamarcus Russell. Yeah. And I don't think he knew to the degree that they were going, you know, he has Looks them in this room. I mean, they terrible. were really, probably, probably thrilled. That's neither here nor there. That's yeah. That's I mean, I, they, they painted him to be a guy who just has uh, to me from an outsider, dumb guy perspective, just looking in, they made him look like to me, a guy who just doesn't respect the game that much. And is kind of like, I'm just going out there to win. I don't give a fuck about anything else. And, and you could keep this and you could keep that, which I always thought that golf was kind of like this very much old school game of like, there's certain etiquette and there's certain things that you just don't say. And they painted this guy to be a monster, man. Like they really did. He and got I gotta a tell bad... you, he comes off like an asshole. He comes off like an asshole. Uh, you're not going to get a disagreement. You're not going to get a disagreement from me. I, I, I really, I really want to go back. I really want to be careful now of of who who yeah, I say anything I, bad I against. That. Not that I'm going bash, but I will say I got the guy. I've never seen a guy enjoy being an ass. He it's like he enjoys coming off as as being just an ass. I don't get now. Look, maybe when you meet His him, brother, it's a different by the way, thing. Is the nicest guy ever. Nicest guy. Yeah, I, I'm not. I mean, Chase Kepka was terrific. Big jersey. Yeah, I'm not Mike's saying man. Brooks Kepka is in fact an asshole. I'm well, just saying the way. The Bob way did. he comes I off, am. On, yeah, I, I the way he am. comes off I, I on the am. show makes him kidding? look like an asshole. I mean, there's yeah, no. Yeah, I mean, two ways come about. on, man. And by the way, when he had his run on the PGA in the beginning, I was pulling for him. I thought he was very enjoyable in the beginning, and then he kind of picked up this pompous um, type thing. But look, who, here's the deal: maybe he's a nice guy. Maybe he's a nice guy. You know, <laughs> you don't know. Good Chase Kepka was funny terrific. Story, by the way is I put out a, a post today and I was like being grateful, this and that. And I put a story, I said, what are you grateful for? Like asking the follower, like asking people like what they're grateful for. There was one response that I just cracked up laughing. The one response was Mikey Mulligans because this guy now likes every single PGA piece of content. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, this guy's going to be like Dan Rappaport. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I'm fully, I tell you what, you guys know me. And subscribing to <laughs> You guys know me by now. If I'm diving into something, I'm diving. There's no, I don't, you know, you just that. We said that. You guys knew full you, in or you, you go all in or you don't go all yeah. in at all. Yeah, yeah Mikey's like tweeting like, Oh, home is starting to make a move here <laughs> yeah, on the back. Yeah, he sure was <laughs> on the range. Hey, Bobby, Bobby sure was. game on the range. Home is making a push. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, of home course, is- Dickie Gas. Dickie Gas makes me bet on this guy, Mitchell, who's a 2,200 to one shot. He's, he's uh, a friend, and, of and might as well just, friend of the program. Friend of the program. Okay. Friend of the oh, program. No, nothing the wrong program. with the guy. Nothing wrong with the guy, but I, I mean, I flushed that money down the toilet. <laughs> 
it's but Cash Dickie Gas and Dickie Gas we trust, so that's it. <laughs> yeah, forever. Cashmere Key. Yeah, yeah, he did have an interesting set of pants going on. Uh, yeah, Mikey V is like Homa here on twelve. He's got a little bit of a right to left <laughs> tweet. Missed the putt. Yeah. Tweet. Yeah. Hard it. Tweet. <laughs> yeah. I, I tell you what, I fucking love Twitter, man. I, Twitter to me is, I mean, I, yeah, I you know I made my bones on Instagram, but Twitter really is so is so much more easy to interact made with my people. Bones on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, 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 I did. Yeah. You don't have to go. You don't have to go to the DMs all the time. Like I feel like Instagram, everyone wants to DM to contact. You on Twitter, it's very easy. Like the threads, the chains, the commenting. I just, I like Twitter, man. I'm, I'm <laughs> getting more into. It. I think my tweeting is not. I'm not a good tweeter. You're definitely better at tweeting at me. But I love consuming information on Twitter. Yes. If there's so much a, easier a to breaking consume. alert for sure. I gotta get a Twitter account. It's tough. Joe. You need to get a Twitter. Whoa, account. I was gonna well, say we that. always say Joe, Joe needs a Twitter account. Bad. Well, no, nah, well, bad. just take I'm gonna it get easy one. There, I gotta Mikey get one. B, because you. I would create be... one immediately after this pod, Joe. No, 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 Mike. Yes, you're, yes, you're, yes. You're, why? You're build, why not? Build... Bob? No, no. Hey, look, Seth? I, I think that I, I think that I've wanted Joe to get a Twitter for quite some time. With that being said, even like Jet said, when Cutsy goes on one of these rants, oh, if it's a player, if he's got it. a bet on them, but it's 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 do the Twitter, do the Twitter, Joey D. You just got to be, you got to remember, Joe. Every tweet you ever send will be people saved by see. some psycho. People want to see what Joey D has to say. Oh, I'm for sure. Genuinely, people try and tag Joe in all reason. these tweets, but they can't because he's not it's, on there. They yeah, try and tag yeah. him in so much shit. Maybe, yeah, maybe. God, I probably got. A body bag on Twitter. I don't even know it. Well, let's no. let's see in the comments on the no. YouTube here. Uh, do you want to see Joey D with the with the Twitter? And another yes. thing I'd like to see is his name. I think you know Joey Holcutt would be great, but I think he no, needs I a name. I know what my I know what my Twitter name would be. What would it be? It'd just be Joey Tweets. That might be taken though. That probably that a, taken. There, That's yeah, a that great hit no, it's good. It's good, but it might be taken. Um, I do want to get into the or buy Joey or sell. Tweet. Before anything, and vibes are tremendous. Vibes have really. This is a good start to the to the to the pod. Yeah, okay. it was a rough rough. Start. It was a rough start. Yeah, it was pod, very rough. But it's I was really very picking worried. up. It's yeah. picking up steam. You know, Joey D. Can we if on the trolley tomorrow? If you take a selfie on the trolley, let's post that I'm to not the brilliant the trolley tomorrow. I think Bob. you should go on the trolley. I've been on the trolley. You've done the trolley once. You've done the trolley a hundred times. There's no difference. You, you know, I love there. to see my wife on the trolley because that's Holly on a trolley. <laughs> I knew Man, Joe would like that. Joe, yeah, Joe's I always a sucker for yeah. it. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Thank Jesus. you for your support, Joe. It's like the um, elf on the shelf. Let's talk about. <laughs> yes. let's, let's talk about something, okay? Here's the deal. All right, I think that the Bobby Blockbusters <laughs> segment has been, although it may not have been successful oh, from a no. standpoint of movies. I think that it has been a a very good segment. I really do. I really do. I log on to Twitter after the podcast last week, okay? And there's a tweet from Bear Down. He has completely hijacked the segment. It, it's it's one of the most fraudulent <laughs> plays this show has ever seen. This tweet from Bear Down, and I'll send it to you. I don't have Twitter, so I don't know. What do Joe, you do? let him go because I'll have a rebuttal, but let Bob of go. Of course go you ahead, will. Bob. Go ahead, Bob. He, he says... Hashtag Mikey Movies, no space, <laughs> will roll on this week. Recommendations came flying in heavy, have <laughs> sifted through and saw this one mentioned several times. Official official viewing will be held Wednesday night. He has completely, he hijacked the segment. He hijacked it. And I want to give you the floor, <laughs> Mikey D. But it's it's one of the sickest moves I've ever seen made. <laughs> it's sick. He was probably sick and tired of you not liking half the movies, Bob. Maybe so, but but also keep in the mind. Well, I'll let you rebuttal because I'm I'm wildly curious to hear this. A guy, <laughs> yeah. somebody like you, I know you're going to have a rebuttal. I really want to know okay. what the rebuttal is. Oh, okay, I'm re I'm ready. It's all yours. A couple of weeks ago on this show, we were going through a list of movies again. What what we think could work, and Joe mentioned. Peanut Butter Falcon, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I got laughed out of the building. You did. And that was by me. I, I I couldn't get over the title of the movie. It just, to me, it sounded so outrageous. It was not something I could get behind. However, after that show and that pod went live, people on Twitter literally lambasted me saying, Mike, <laughs> you have to watch this movie. It's a really good... Everybody came to the defense of Joey D and the Peanut Butter Falcon. Everybody okay. on Instagram and Twitter. The movement I said, okay, after an alarming response from the public, I said something like that. 
I will be watching the Peanut Butter Falcon because of the overwhelming sure. demand that I should watch it. And as a joke, I put hashtag Mikey movies. I thought that was funny, right? Okay. So I, I view the Peanut there, Butter and Falcon. I'll let you keep going. I do okay. not think that was a joke by any means. <laughs> I do not think that the hashtag Mikey movies okay, was so a joke. Maybe the, Mike, the hashtag Mikey off. movies was a joke. And then once I finished viewing it, I gave a legitimate breakdown synopsis of what I thought this movie was strong with and what I thought it was weak with. And the overwhelming response that I got from the Twitter faithful and the Twitter voiceless, Bob, it was it was astounding. They were like, you know, these are the movie reviews we were expecting from Yo, Bob. Yeah, this guy sounds like Trump I, right I, now. By the way, I'm not. No, it's not, no, I don't, Bob. Huh. See, this is what I mean. He's, He's getting into golf. Me. He's going to take over our Callaway sponsorship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I already reached out to Callaway. I started following them this week. I, they couldn't throw the young man a set of. You know how many people ask me, Mike, why are you buying clubs? Callaway couldn't. But, but, I but said, no, no, I'm not there but, yet. But let me ask you this, Mikey. Okay. <laughs> No. And I, I, by the way, I totally believe that people said you got to watch this movie. I've seen the comments on the Bobby blog. Okay. I totally believe this. Do you not okay. think that when you started the Mikey movies phenomenon, that right, which it is? Well, did, did you not? Did you not think? <laughs> did you not think that I was going to see that and be like, he just hijacked the? Of course, shit I thought you were going to see it. We're 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 best. For, we're some. We're just some. We're best friends. My, best friends two of my best friends i of course i thought you'd see it bob i I've, but i really didn't think you would think i hijacked it number one i was never looking for a mikey movies plug on the pod i was never going to discuss mikey movies mikey what? movies is strictly for the twitter voiceless and faithful followers that's a, that's its own group of people here's that the issue i have them. okay here's the issue i have go ahead and correct me if i'm wrong joe you, I, okay. you mediate this thing if, if if one of us are wrong but the issue i have is Back to back weeks, Mikey Movies tried to shut down the Bobby Blockbuster segment. He did it back to back oh. weeks. So Joe, don't say oh, Joe. No, don't say what do you oh, mean? He's because right. I said it in front of your face, Joe. I said I think we should do <laughs> the Bobby Blockbuster because Joe, you agreed with me that you didn't think the effort from Bob was forthcoming, and you yeah, you no, I agree with that. I agree with that. Thank you. But, but but here's here's the thing: it's it's, it's an awfully strange timing. To shut down the segment and then start. Oh, off yeah. Movie. But I wasn't starting a segment, though. I wasn't going to bring this onto the pod. Bob decided to bring this but onto you, the pod. I was never <laughs> discussed. But it. you did start a segment. Mikey you Movies it. is an organic experience on Twitter only. <laughs> on Twitter only. And I want to yeah. keep it off the you know what he's gonna do? Fucking nuts. We're you know all what, nuts. Do you know what Gambler's Digest group chat tomorrow is going to be? It's going to be Mikey V sending screenshot after screenshot. Of people saying, Mikey, we love the Mikey no, movies no. bet. Fuck but they do. Bob. Screw no, no, Eddie. no, fuck Bob. No, that's no, the way it's going to no, be. No. And that's okay. But the <laughs> bottom line is, you absolutely hijacked the segment. You, you totally okay. hijacked. Okay. Now, with that being I disagree, said, but... can we do a brief Bobby Blockbuster? <laughs> now, let's listen to this one, Joe. Here we go. Go ahead, Bob. Did you watch the movie? Full thing, start to finish. Full thing, of course. Okay, good. That's good. I really did. And Joe, I wanted to come here today and say, you nailed it. I loved it. Peanut Butter Falcon to me. And I liked the message. It's not that I liked the message. Joe, I swear to you, I thought it was awful. I, I really did. I, I, no, Joe, I'm just being dead. To, I thought it was absolutely terrible. Terrible. I, feel I like really a disappointed like teacher right now who just I know, you know I know providing him with like yeah. you know educational opportunities to enhance himself <laughs> and to like grow and, and, and develop <laughs> and just he just not it's just it's not happening. It's I, not I will say that I'll say this about Peanut Butter Falcon. I thought the first third of the movie was really good, but then once I, they met the Okay, go ahead, Bob. No, I don't want to cut you off. I, I'm agreeing with a thousand percent okay. what you're saying. Okay, but then the final half to final third of the movie when they met the wrestler guy, it got so absurdly preposterous. The storyline and the, the, the cinematography of it Great. when he throws the guy out of the ring. And I love the message too, but it just got too ridiculous for me at the end. That's why I thought it was an okay movie to a good movie. I didn't think it was anything great, Joe. I did think the other movie was good. We'll get into that. Our recommendation for Bobby this week. Oh, I, I thought this movie, was Mike. I thought this was watch. Mikey movies. 
I, I told you really. Mikey Movies is an organic <laughs> Twitter experience. And if you want to get a Mikey movie experience, you go over to Twitter, you follow at Bear Down Cuz, and there you go. This guy is well, we, so me and Joe have a winner for you this week, Bob. That but was... we need a ba- we need a Bobby Bagel rating on the uh, Bobby Blockbuster. Well, uh, apparently it's getting a negative two based we, on. You can't give a negative rating. It has to get I, a solid bagel. I like the message. I agree okay. that that first quarter of it, I was like, oh, fuck, he nailed it. Like, I, I'm I'm into it. I, Me too. I love That's it. how I felt. In you the first could kind of. It's a three bagel. It's wow. it's it's a three okay. bagel. I just think after that, it just and look, here's the deal on Rotten Tomatoes, they give it like a ninety seven percent. I I just I honestly <laughs> I thought it was terrible. I feel bad. A three man. bagel. I, a three bagel is something you'd give like Jason versus Freddy in outer space against the Predator. That's like yeah, something well, that yeah. deserves. A I three guess bagel. I got to see Alien Jason versus, versus Predator, Predator three or some shit. Like right, that. right. Oh man, three bagels tough. But yeah. Joe, I think we got the winner for him this week, though. I real. If Bob doesn't like this movie, I think we might have to give up. I think we got to give up. I think we have. If he doesn't like this movie and give it, I'm saying I'm calling for a minimum seven bagel rating on this on this movie coming up. I you am Bob. Good, I mean, listen, Bob. There's Hugh Jackman. Uh, he doesn't know actors. I don't know why I'm saying actors. He knows Hugh Jackman. Right, He's a uh, Wolverine, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, there okay. you go, Bob. Yep. And then Christian Bale's in this. He movie. obviously sure. knows Christian Bale. Sure. And Scarlett Johansson. Sure. This is okay. starting to feel like a Green Book type type situation. Oh, this is, by the way. Bob. There's no way you can't like this movie. It's a really Other. good movie. Okay, let's talk. Mikey Joe. B. You go, Joe. <laughs> All right, this is a movie which I I I didn't think about until I talked about it with 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 Bear Down. But it, once I started thinking about it, I hadn't seen the movie in a while. But it's a classic. It's 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 now it's not shot in five K, but it is shot in the last what 10, 15 years. Yeah, it's it's a newer it's movie. It's a two thousand plus movie, so yes. there's no reason to be like, oh, it's an old school. I, I think, think it's 2016, perhaps. I think it's 2010. Great year. You might be right, Joe. Great year. Great year. 2006, 2016. Joe. Did you say 2006? Uh, so, yeah, it was, I figured it was like, you know, closer to like 2010 than 2006. But anyways, the bottom line is this movie has a twist to it. It's, yes. it's, it's, it's not what you think. The whole time it keeps you guessing. Yes. And I, I do think... There's like an allure and enough action early on that you'll kind of get caught up. Scarlett Johansson is gorgeous. I mean, I don't know how you can't enjoy watching sure. her. In the movie. So like, there's a lot of things, and the acting is great. So it's I think there's a lot of a lot of points that I think do check off on the Bobby Blockbusters list as small as a microcosm list. Sure, that it is. sure, I mean, sure. We get I it. do think that a you microcosm. Want to <laughs> I I do think I do think Bob will like that. Yeah, that's a little fucked up, right? I mean, that's a little fucked up. I mean, I think he meant to say microscopic, but microcosm works okay, just okay. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it works just as well. But, yeah. but, I, do but think I think he's like, right. The bear down's point. If 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 we if we get under five bagels on this, at yeah, some there's point no it's way. like we're there's running no out way. of shit here. Well, well, know. Bear Down would love to get under five bagels because nobody wants to cancel the segment more than Bear Down. <laughs> so Bear That's Down awesome. would add. There, <laughs> Bob, there's no way. There's no way this movie misses. Hit me with there's the no movie. Way. I'm ready. I'm so ready. The movie is called The Prestige. The, the Prestige. Prestige. The Prestige. <laughs> Bob, Bob, the, why the is Bob giving a face? Magic. Have you, you watched know what this? the last movie was on the Mikey movie segment? Yeah, it was the Prestige. The Prestige. <laughs> yeah. This guy has completely hijacked his thing. This is some of the sickest wait, shit wait. that I've ever seen. Wait, <laughs> wait. Dude, let me tell you something, man. That is one of the <laughs> sickest things I have ever seen. On this show, we've been doing this show for five years. That's some of the sickest shit that I've ever seen. What you just pulled. wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh That's bullshit. Wait, wait, wait a minute, this, Joe. Was this this was Joe's recommendation. This was this was his Wednesday night viewing. This I was thought his... you watched this like a while ago, Mikey. It was the no, Mikey I watched it last Wednesday. Like, what does that matter? This guy's sick, it's fresh and, and all and the. You know fuck. what? For a guy who always has the answer, he really does, and he always has a rebuttal. This is sick, and there's no other way. But Bobby, you gotta watch the movie. It's a great movie. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the movie, but he hijacked the segment. It's been hijacked. 
I have not hijacked the set. You by because you, you carrying on you like this, you are right. hijacking the set. No, 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 no. You yeah, are yeah, dead yeah. to rights, and you know it. And no, you have to. That's a sick move you just pulled. That's Joe was sick. the one who came up with the prestige, unbeknownst to him. He doesn't have Twitter. He doesn't know what's going on. And I said, Joe, it just so happens I just watched Joey that. Joey D, is that not crazy what this guy I, And is by the doing? way, I don't have Twitter, so I don't know. No, right. I know you don't. Right. I know you Bob, don't. Here it is. You complain every week that me and Joey <laughs> don't do our research. We, we don't did talk research about it. Before. This week, we had a text message conversation about yes. what movie Bob should watch. And we both said, if Bob doesn't like The Prestige, me, there really needs to be a serious By the way, the notion that we don't do our homework is absolutely absurd. Because well, i, I got to be honest with you. I've given tons of good recommendations. Yes. And they get swatted down. The Godfather might as well have been like When Harry Met Sally, which is another great movie. Great which movie. I wouldn't, which I wouldn't suggest for Bob either. Although no. I do think Bob is a billionaire. Bob shot down I multiple. Am. Bob has shot down multiple films that are on consensus movie critics top twenty movies of Don't all time. Don't make this about he me. Tells them they're horrible. Don't great. make this. Don't make this about me. That stunt that was just pulled. And let me. You know what, Joe? I, now it's I, a stunt. I, I would be curious. <laughs> I'd be curious to see it, who sent the text first of the prestige. I, I almost got a feeling, too, that Joey D did not send that a, initial. No, that's not true. You want me to that's look? That's not true. I'd be curious. Yeah, I'd be. I'd I'm going to look very... myself. I'm going to look because this is, this is getting accusational. Now. I, well, well. Well, well. It sure is. Well. <laughs> Who sent the prestige first? I got to look. I'm looking. I think this guy's dead to rights for the first time in a long time. Where is All it? Right, here you no, I sent it first. I said, did you watch? Have you watched the Prestige? What do you think? Awesome movie. He said stand down. And Thanks, then I Bob. said, I think Bobby Jones for the week. And he said, Yeah. I'll so stand down there. there. Okay. I'll, I'll stand I, down I, there. No problem. To be honest, you, you it, shouldn't it, just stand down. I should get I should get some sort of an apology for that rant you just wanted. Well, you no, but, but, but I do but, understand, like it's really like it's real coincidental that I just recommended the movie that you had just put. I agree. But I though. think, but here's the I thing agree. is that I, I got inundated with so many people saying the prestige, the prestige. I was like, this movie's got to be incredible because so many people are recommending it. So I don't think there's any way, I don't think there's any possibility that Bob could watch this movie and tell us that this movie did not hit. I don't think, I, I think it's going to be Look, it's I'll, move, be I'll move on after this. But this has that Green Book vibe to it, to where yeah. both you guys are so hell bent on it. Yes, and I, I, I do think it'll win her. I, I hope it'll be a winner. Um, all right, well let, let's keep it moving. The Brendan Dumb Show is brought to you by Better Help. Life doesn't always go the way you want to, and it doesn't come with the user manual. So when it's not working for you, it's normal to feel stuck. That's why BetterHelp.com is here. BetterHelp.com matches you with a licensed therapist. They have matched over 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online, plus it's affordable, and you don't have to go to a doctor's office or go to some type of building. You could do it all from the comfort of your home. You can't go wrong when you go with BetterHelp. Dot com. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash BDS. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash BDS, betterhelp.com. Change your life today for the better. Um, And let's head on over. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, let's head over. To our buy or sell segment. I love you, Mikey B. Um, buy or sell. We were talking golf. If you boys don't mind, I can go ahead and, and start us off. I, by the way, our top five that we have coming up, I think is tremendous. And not to toot my own horn, I think it's the best top, top five, five I think I've ever created. Yeah, I, I feel no. so ever created by no, 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 no. Not the actual top five. I'm saying my answer. You've created better. No, you've created better ones. No, 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 no. But no, it's no. a really I, good one. I mean, my list, not the, this is not the best top five. Yeah, no, far from that. I'm just saying, I I love my list, but um, buy or sell, me and Joe have worked with her before, and I was just fascinated by how good she is at her job. Um, And this is talking golf, and I know we talked golf before, so not to get too much in on golf. I think I know what you're talking about. Do you want to do it on three, Joey Day? Let's do a one. Now, is it, we, is, are we going by her surname, like her taken name, or her previous maiden name? Because she goes by two names. Great question. Let's go. Um, let's go with her husband's name. I'm ready for you on three. Oh, I don't know the husband's name. Shit. Wait, I don't know what the surname is either. <laughs> I'm gonna go shoot. with the name that I know. 
Okay, me is this too. A buy? Is this a buy? Okay, let's all right. You go with the name, you go. Ready? One, two, three. Amanda, Amanda Rayner. <laughs> all, right, all right. It's Renner or Balioni. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know yeah. which one's actually her well, what she goes by. Yeah, I think she is. I think she does. I think she does both. Um, it's hard. I, I was introduced to her as uh, Balionis. And I almost I, wish she'd pick one, but I get not. I get not, but it's like, it, it's tough to figure it out. This girl and, and Colt Nost, Amanda Balionis, we worked with her when we did the Golf Channel thing. We were all, like, we were all very excited. We, we were pretty fucking nervous before. It was our first TV thing, big cameras, and they had me and her, like, lead it off, and then we were going to pan it over to Fat Perez and Joe. From the moment she started talking, I was like, die. I was ready to. I was so comfortable because she's so good at what she does. She's she's smooth. She knows when to send it over. Um, she would send it over to me. I would send it back to her. She's unbelievable, and she does the golf broadcast with Colt Nose, who is also terrific. And they work with Jim Nance, CBS. When Jim Nance's time is done. You are going to see Amanda Rayner and you are going to see Colt Nost, I think, paired together for decades. I think they're tremendous. Mike, you might have heard them if you watched Sunday. You probably weren't really paying attention, I too much attention. I think she's one of the main narrators in Full Swing on that. Yes, that's exactly right. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's exactly right. She's very I, good. She's very I, good. I, I think she's terrific. Her. Yeah. She's very I, I think I think she's terrific. I really, wait, Joe, what you say? I said, great set of teeth on her. She's very oh, nice. oh, yeah, hundred. Wow, I thought you said something else, man. I sorry, I couldn't go by that. <laughs> I heard something else. I was just like, what are talking about here, Bob? No, 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 it's no a married no. man. You're talking she's, about here, Bob. no, well, almost, she's almost, actually, almost, she's, yeah. almost she's got yeah, a hundred percent. Um, I think she's terrific. I am fine. <laughs> I thought, good lord, Bob. I am fine. <laughs> Amanda <laughs> Rayner and Colt Nose, and let's hand it over to Joey D. <laughs> All right, I I thought about this. I was gonna potentially buy the, the 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 Netflix full swing that Mikey V talked, about, but we already talked about this, and I haven't sold anything for a while, so I'm gonna sell something today. Sure. And you know, I might get some backlash on it, but I gotta be, I I gotta call it how I see it. I am selling the NBA dunk contest. I'm selling it hard. And here's why. There's a few reasons. The guy who won it, Matt McClung, by the way, was great at Texas Tech. He was Tech. awesome. Awesome. Yeah, we He's love playing two on him. games in the NBA. He is playing for the G League and was signed specifically. He's He is the first NBA slam dunk contestant to win who's played less than five games in the NBA. What in God's holy fucking name are we doing? And by the way, he was electric. But my point is this. You used to have Michael Jordan in yeah. the NBA dunk contest. And now all these guys, Donovan Mitchell, all of them, they're hanging out like they're like they're going to the nightclub. It's they're watching guys who I don't even know half of these guys. Kenyon Martin Jr. I'm sorry. His dad's sitting there. It's it's terrible. And they're giving 47s and 50s for half of these dunks that are just terrible. I, I, I mean, some of them are just, you see the guy who dunked and grabbed like the scorecard and it said a 50 on it. Well, it was horrible. I'll tell you, I'll tell you this, Joe. I didn't know that he was signed just to come on to the dunk yes. contest. I, I, didn't, I didn't, I didn't know that. I knew that because I was with Scotty Blumstein and he told me this kid's going to win it before even the dunk contest happened. Well, and it's interesting you say that because I was going to say, you know, want to know how the dunk contest, you know, it's lost its juice is that it wasn't available to bet on any major sports. Wasn't available. Really? You could not bet the slam dunk contest See, for the that's first time interesting. in a long know. time. And you know, if Vegas wipes it off the board, that means it's meaningless. It really mm -hmm. does. In the eyes of the betting public, it's, it's me. If it's, if it I doesn't agree. have a number I, attached I to it, it's meaningless. The that's NBA what it is. slam dunk contest should be the who's who of the I NBA. Agree, I duking agree. it out, going toe to toe, and when Vince Carter won the the, oh. the slam dunk contest, it could not have been better. Mm. And it has, for all intents and purposes, taken a nosedive since then. It's just nowhere near. I mean, you used to have the best guys. Why doesn't LeBron ever co compete in the slam dunk yeah, contest? You know, Mark, he, he doesn't need to. I guess he feels like he doesn't but, need but to. But I think we get I think the only players. 
I think the only backlash you're going to get on the sell, Joe, is that people are going to take this guy's defense because of how awesome he was specifically. He was agree, awesome, but my point is he's not an NBA player. I got it. You I can't get play it. two games fair. in the NBA and win the slam dunk contest. It's like the end uh, one mixtape tour. I get yeah, it. 100%. And I, here's the other thing. The panel of judges that they put out there, it's just a free-for-all. Whoever <laughs> the hell wants to sit there. Carl Malone is the only guy I respect on there. Devonta oh Smith. Should not be <laughs> oh. should not be a judge for a oh. slam dunk contest. Bad like, week to back Carl even... Malone. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, Carl Malone was sitting there a couple times, like, what am I watching? Because a couple of the dunks were so bad. Yeah, I wow, Joey D with, <laughs> with the sell. sell of all it's sell. It's a sell. It's a hard I, sell. I it's, a sell. It's... it's a hard sell. It could be so much better. We're getting regurgitated like content that is not as good as it could be. It'd be I, like going to in and out and you're getting a burger that's not the same patty that you know that they used to use. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, okay, okay. Right. We got it. We got it. We, we, we got I like that. I like that. And he just grabbed the in and out. That's nice. What nice touch. Sicko. Nice touch. <laughs> okay, all right. Um I just the thing we do we got 14 minutes and I hate to cut this one off. We got a four we got 14 minutes left, so I do want to get into our top five. The vibes are very high. It's been tremendous. Clap it up, boys. Clap it up, clap it up. Well, Mike, you need to buy or sell. Yeah, no, no, I'm coming, I'm coming over to him. I'm coming to him. The only thing that I will say about that, and I agree, I agree with what Mikey said. People are gonna come to his defense because he was really good, which you did say, Joe. It would be sick if like Giannis and LeBron and all of them got together and were like, let's go put on a show. If he wasn't hurt, like that would be fun. That would yeah. be a lot of fun. It's and not you fun. Know, the ratings would be through the roof. Yeah. All these all-star games have gone, whether it's the pro bowl, whether it's, um, you know, the pro NBA bowl, also, it's, it's a joke. Um, uh, Mikey V buy or sell. And then we'll go to our top five. Yeah. A real quick buy. And then a sell the quickest buy is for the XFL. I think that, some of those games were very entertaining. Shout out. I just want to give a shout out to AJ McCarron, our guy, huge friend of the program. Friend of the program. Hell of a sure. job he did with the St. Louis Battlehawks. <laughs> that was finishing that game. <laughs> St. Louis Battlehawk game was something special. And we got to tip our cap to AJ McCarron. AJ, don't guys, be afraid to send the boys some playoff tickets. Right now, Bob. When the Battlehawks make the playoffs, if you get to the championship game, don't forget about us. Okay. Uh, but the real, the real segment here, I'm selling. I am selling this week conspiracy theorists. Over the past couple of weeks, you have seen uh, a spike in these conspiracy theorists, and it goes way back to the people who believe that we never landed on the moon, that that was staged, and people who think certain disasters were inside jobs, and now, it's the, the, now it's the balloons, it's the trail derailments. These people, you must have nothing better to do with your life. You must have nothing better to do, nothing going on for you to concoct these wild uh, premonitions and ideas in your head and spew them as fact. And it's just, it's it's so outrageous. I'm so sick of it. People with way too much time on their hands. I can't stand conspiracy theories. Now I'll go ahead and I'll watch a show maybe on conspiracy, something that made like an official documentary perhaps. I'll watch something like that. But for most people that are just, for the sake of argument, these half-assed conspiracy theories and conspiracy theorists, I'm selling it. I'm so sick of it. I'm tired of reading it. Just move on. Just move on. It doesn't affect you. If it doesn't affect your daily life, please just move on. Just move on from it. Conspiracy theories, selling them. Big time I, I think moving forward, I said it last week, Mikey V only can sell now. I, I just, I love when he sells. I it, The Mikey V sells are the best sells. The, the conspiracy theory that I... Usually I just push it off to the side and I totally agree so with you, I. by the way. So the one I, that really bothers me where if somebody tries to pitch me, I I, I just don't want to hear it. When somebody says, tries to say that 9-11 was an inside job. I didn't job, even want to go there. I didn't I, even want to go I, I get upset. It's an I, insult. I really do. It's an, it's an it insult. Really is, it's an bro. insult to every person who is semi. Uh, it's an insult to every person who was either directly involved, lost somebody who was directly involved or was indirectly involved and lost somebody totally or was agree. in a profession that's a, it's disgusting. I, it, I that's why I didn't even want to say that. That's why I just said inside job. I didn't even want to. Well, I, I see some of that stuff on gross. like TikTok, and it it, it actually it's gets under gross. my skin. I I hate it's it. Disgusting. Go back into your fucking hole if that's what you think. <laughs> sorry, but I'm not sorry because I think it's disgusting. No, I do too. I I it yeah. really does. It it pisses me off. Back um, under your bridge. I want to. <laughs> can we can we sorry. move on? Now? Yeah, go go. go. Can we move on? Sorry, Bob. Right. I feel so bad that we're cutting this thing. Short. I know, I know. It's it, it's rough. It's really, really rough. 
<laughs> this is one of our better pods recently. I I I got the the guy from West Elm is doing a bunch of measurements for the couch, and oh, I've you got to have that. I mean, you got to have the measurement for the couch. I don't oh, want it. The, the guy this sectional must be special. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those windows, Joe. I mean, this guy, guy can only like dream about it in the White like House. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh God, Bob! You better you better tint those things. You're an easy target in there. <laughs> you have laser pointers going through there. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. You know what I did get that I do love is it's what? fascinating to me, and I could see you having it, Mikey. Is no. The ring cameras are fascinating oh, to me. The best. The best. They're unbelievable. The you can watch it all, Bob. I'm putting one on the patio <laughs> yeah. as well. I, I love them. I, I think they're great. They Especially really Especially for control freaks like me and Bob. They're just one of the best things you can have. My and cousin, I though. I come, I'm going to see a story of me on the <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, exactly well, right. That's, uh, if you don't think he's using that ring doorbell for content, that's, <laughs> that's going to be a whole exactly new right. for Bob. I already have a screenshot of Jet coming up for uh, the other day. I had him coming up, and he just looks go. miserable. It's terrific. <laughs> um, okay, um, we're going to go top five here. And, again, I know I'm going to take some shit for that. It really does suck, Joey D, because I, I really am enjoying this. Um, we're doing top five here, gents, and we are doing top five bubble gum. Now, it doesn't have to be a specific flavor we're talking about types of bubble gum. There's all types of bubble gum. You have gum that's great for the, your breath. That's going to stay long. You have the fun gum, the flavorful mm. gum. Mm. What type of gum are you choosing? Um, and let's start off. Uh, let's go with Mikey V out of the gate. All right, number five. Give me big red. Joey D has oh. got his hand up. All right, let's go sorry, Joey D. I got to ask Mikey V a question. I know we got to finish this soon, but I had somebody hit me a DM and I thought about it. And it makes a lot of sense. Mikey V, do you remember the last time Bob ever gave his top five first? <laughs> what are we doing? Somebody here? in the DM <laughs> said that Bob goes to you and I first and then cherry picks between the top. That's sick, man. And then wow. is able to get the best that's selection of that's top five crazy. from the both that's, of us. Well, you know crazy. what, Joe? So you know what? Let me go first. Bob said he had the best top five of all Let time. Let me go Why first. Start us off. Let me go first. I mean, I, yeah, I, I think mean, that's I did, sick. I let I the think... cat out of the bag on number five already. So if I'll, just, <laughs> I'll let, I'll, I mean, I'll that's finish sick. mine and then Bob could go. I, I'm confident in my list. I mean, maybe, it, you know, it won't hit. Maybe it will. But uh, and then we'll go to Bob. <laughs> I'm not worried about Bob's list. I'm really not. I'll oh, tell you this. It might be a good list. Oh, it, could, another you know, side it could win. It could win. It could, it's a good list. Probably. Joe, give can me we get another side bet? Tell that guy, thank you for his support of the show, but also tell him he's a sicko. <laughs> Tell me, I mean, that's crazy. Bob, Mikey V's saying his top five is better than yours. I did not. Now that I did was not that, was that say that. that. Mikey v? that, that was I'm not never... worried about Bob's now, top five. Now this we're going to pull the tape back here and you guys are going to look awful silly. Well, because starting the, next that. week, every that. Tuesday, it's top five Tuesdays with Mikey V. We're on Twitter. <laughs> You could pile in your top five. That's organic. Organic. That could be an organic experience also. <laughs> we got a lot of requests. You guys are fucking, you guys are unbelievable. Let me finish. Okay. Number five, Big Red. I'm a cinnamon gum guy. I do oh, like yeah. cinnamon flavored gum. I think Big Red is the OG. I'm a big, I, I like Big Red. I think a cinnamon gum has to be somewhere in the mix and Big Red does it best. They did it first. Big Red at five. Number four, give me Bubble Yum. Bubble Yum has the duck on the label, that duck with the wild clothing, but the flavors, cotton candy in particular. Have you ever had cotton candy Bubble Yum? Oh, I never tried that. Oh, that bro. sounds lovely. Don't, Delicious. Don't, yeah. Number three, Icebreaker Cubes. I think oh, the cube gum, the play. soft the soft cube gum, <laughs> it lasts for some reason longer than any other breath gum out there, in my opinion. Icebreaker Cubes. It's a great play. Thank you. Number two, I'm going to go with Orbit. I think Orbit, when Orbit came out, I think they really uh, kind of pushed the market back to like resetting the bar of what breath gum was about. Orbit, great flavors, clean flavors. They came out with the whitening line. I was a big fan of the Orbit whitening line. Yeah. Uh, Spearmint in particular. Give me Orbit at two. And then number one, dog. Number one, got to be the pouch of Big League Chew. Big League Chew to me is a special type of gum. You don't see it everywhere, but when you do, I bet you pick it up when you see it because it's one of those things that you can't not buy. Stick it in the car, the middle console, stick it in your gym bag, stick it in your locker, whatever it is. Just keep that Big League Chew within arm's reach. Big League Chew, number one for me. 
you know, um, Joe, do you have any issues with that list? No, I think it's pretty good. By the way, we are going to get a Canadian gum out of Joey D. I've never been so excited to hear top five than Joey D's you think top so? five. We're I think you are going to get okay. at least – my over-under would be one and a half Canadian gums that you're going to get. I'll go under. I'll go under on that. Give me the over. I think it cashes at okay. two. Okay. Um, okay. I got – now, There's again, all types of gums. You alluded to it a little bit better down – there is the breath gum that makes that's good for the breath, long lasting. Then you got the fun gums that aren't yep. as long lasting, but they're fun. They're enjoyed. Mm-hmm. A lot of nostalgia gums out there. Last sure. thing I'll say about gums before I get into my gums, um, the five gum did a marketing push unlike anything that I've I've never seen so a brand push a gum. Remember five where the guy's hanging from the ceiling yeah. and it goes all yeah. the way down? Mm-hmm. They did yep. such a crazy push. Um, not a bad gum. Um, disguise here, son of a bitch. Um, shit. Okay, at five, give me big league chew. Baseball gum brings you back. Give me baseball. Um, give me big league chew at five. Four, give me double bubble. Another baseball game. I was tough between the four and five. Double bubble. Good um, gum. Three, give me orbit. I agree with you, Mikey V. It's a tremendous gum. Um, two, hubba bubba max. Yeah, Hubba is good one gum. of the most unbelievable gums. And then number one, Bubblicious came out with some unbelievable gums. It's a great gum for a flavorful gum. Lasts a decently long time for that type of flavor. Bubblicious yeah, bubble. at one. Um, okay, Joey D, take it away. All right. Um, I got, I've got mostly like nostalgic gums in here that I like. Um, at number five, I got Juicy Fruit. All right. Number juicy four. Fruit, my only beef with juicy fruit is that it, it dies. The flavor dies so quickly. But, but that flavor is so good. It guys, is. I, I hate to do this. This guy is here. I got to go downstairs and get him. It's terrible. There's nothing I can do. My hands let are Let Joe tied. read his list. You can Joe, go. Let read Joe the read list. list. Mikey V react. And I'm going to let you boys close down the show. And I know that's terrible. How I are you going to stop about... the recording? I'm going to go get him. And I'm going <laughs> to go do it. Okay. My hands are tied. My hands yeah, are tied. Yeah, they are. They are. They, they are. are. I, you guys, are, I'm going to take a lot of shit, but you get that. It was that. a nice night, Bob. Thank you. I want to hear Joe's going, by the way, the only problem with Juicy Fruit, it no, doesn't last. You got two seconds tops on the Juicy Fruit. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to the Brilliant Up Show. <laughs> this guy, man. This guy's unbelievable. Joe, anyway, go ahead, Joe. I'm listening, and Juicy Fruit at five. As you see him walk down his palace, down to the second yes, floor. Yes, yes, yes. Skyloft. Uh, okay, Juicy Fruit of Five. At number four, I went with the Big League Chew. I love that stuff. Yeah, Big I League Chew is great. It's, it's usually, I used to shove tons of it and just try to fucking eat the whole package in one go. Yep. Um, at number three, all right, I have Double Bubble. I yep. think it's really good. Good gum. Number two, this is this is more of like a refreshing gum. Give me okay. Dentine Ice, the in- intense arctic chill flavor if you if you ever going on a date or you need to go somewhere and you need your breath to be as spectacular as possible aside from using a mint this is the best stuff you can use dentine Dentine. ice is great gum yes great gum and then at number one i'm going with the nostalgic gum the original bazooka joe that stuff is is in the bucket in the big plastic bucket Yep. Great That's my number one, man. I I don't know. Maybe Juicy Fruit I could have been a bit better on, but I, I just – I think all those are good. I do like the Mentos play, too, the Mentos packs of gum they came out with. Not too Yes, long. I have those. I have that. I that have would be my them. honorable Very mention. Good. I had to give yeah. an honorable mention. My honorable mention, I think, would be, for nostalgic purposes, it would be Fruit Stripes. You remember the zebra? You talk about a horrible gum after two seconds, but Fruit Stripes <laughs> – is very nostalgic with all the zoo animals and the designs. It's very uh, playful and nice. Uh, I guess that does it, Joe. Another episode of the Brilliantly Dumb Show without our fearless leader, uh, Bob Berger. But we will, uh, of course, see you next week. Uh, and we love you, Joe. We always have. We always will.